channel and welcome to vlog number three it's now three weeks in a row i think that alone deserves a little round of applause but putting all sarcastic comments aside it's another weekly vlog this week's a bit more chill it's a bit more normal life so you know alex is around let's start my saturday with you guys so i really hope you guys enjoy this vlog if you do give it a thumbs up and click subscribe and let's i guess just get on with it I've now actually like styled my hair for the first time in like quite a few days. So at least I look a little bit less nuts. So I've just written a blog post all about typology. So that will be up last week. So um, I'll always leave my blog link down below, but that was the blog post that went up last week. And I just thought I would like take a few moments in this vlog considering I started off my channel talking about beauty and makeup and obviously that is still very much a passion of mine it's very much still what I talk about over on Instagram to like talk you through a few of my favorite things at the moment just like a little quick segment just not too long just like a few little gems from a kind of foundation perspective I have been wearing for the last couple of days the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. It basically looks like my skin. It looks like I'm not really wearing foundation. So I've got mine in the shade 02 Very Light, which thanks L'Oreal. Thanks for reminding me we've not had a summer. But this is one of those foundations that's like super, super, super liquidy. You blend it out, you can build it up. It kind of, it, it, it looks best at kind of like a medium coverage. And I really, really love this. From the kind of bronzer perspective, you may have remembered that I worked my way through my Smashbox contour kit. Let me, so this is completely, completely finished up. And now I've kind of accidentally started making my way through my Revlon Sculpt and Highlight contour kit. And this is beautiful. So I've hit two, pretty big pans and I mix the two shades in this together, blend out my cheek and it's the most gorgeous colour. It has really good pigment but also being super super blendable. So I'm trying to like work my way through this but I feel like it's gonna be one of those products I really sort of miss. And then if I'm not using this, I'm using my Tarte Park Avenue Princess, which is actually what I've got on right now. It has the most stunning kind of blendability to it it's absolutely gorgeous so they are my two like go-to bronzing products at the moment when it comes to blusher i've basically become head over heels in love with using cream and then a powder so the cream blushes i tend to use are either this fenty cream blush that i got the other week so this is in the shade strawberry dip and it's absolutely beautiful or it's one of the elf putty blushes so I've actually got one of these on my, well, I've got this one on my cheeks right now. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. Annoyingly, there are no shade names on these blushes whatsoever. So I can't tell you what the shade names of any of them are, but it's this kind of like deep coral colour. And then I go on top with a powder blush. And I tend to currently use one or two blushes to go over the top of basically any shade of cream blush ever. And it's either the Tarte blush in the shade Quirky, which is this like really lovely kind of everyday blush shade. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting blush in the shade Luminous Flush, which is much more of a kind of pinky blush. And that's kind of my blush routine at the moment. And then eyeshadows, I'm just kind of working my way through lots of different ones at the moment. So I don't particularly have a favorite. The one that's on my eyes right now is the Marc Jacobs, what are these called? Iconic Multi Finish Eye Palette in the shade Fantasine. It's quite limited in what you can do with it, but the shades in it are beautiful. So that's what I'm currently, I've currently got on my face. But yeah, that's just like, that's just a quick roundup of some of my favourite makeup items, just so that I can keep you guys kind of in the loop with what I am actually using and actually loving I just edited last week's weekly vlog and you will be happy in the same way that i am now happy i bought some nail polish remover and so i no longer have hideously chipped nails i spent the entire time editing last week's vlog and all i could see 
was my chipped nails. So I'm glad that they are now out, they are done, they are sorted. I now have clean, fresh nails. Also, from two weeks ago where I got my hair done in that weekly vlog, I've obviously, I've used a lot of purple shampoo, like a lot. And my hair has now started to kind of return to a shade that I'm used to and happy with. So I am slowly adjusting to my new hair just an update from that. So yeah, it's now lost a lot of its oranginess. Um, so purple shampoo does work. I use the Amica Bustral Brass range, which is like the best. It's the best shampoo and conditioner ever. I, I'm obsessed. I mean, I was gifted it, but I'm obsessed. So tonight we are going to Pizza Express, like the cool cats that we are, and we're gonna get pizza for a bit of an Alex has returned home dinner. Oh, did I tell you, Alex is home. I I'll talk to you soon. Um, I've done something a little bit different with my hair. I'm, I'm not usually a kind of slicked back, like really polished, no hair kind of person. I always felt like it made me look a little bit like an egg, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay with it today. Normally on a Sunday or a Saturday, I shoot Instagram content, but because I was so naff last week at posting on Instagram, I actually have, pretty much all of last week's content still took out. So I don't actually need to do any of that. So I'm just spending the day kind of um, replying to blog comments, uh, reading other people's blog content and just kind of having a day of like actually catching up. And then this evening we're going to the Barbican Centre in central London to watch the LSO perform something or other. You only know, book tickets for things and then you kind of forget what you've booked tickets for. That's what tonight's concert is. So <laughs> it's gonna be a fun surprise. I have no idea slash do not remember what I booked, but I know it's the LSO and I know it's at the Barbican and I know it's this evening. So that's the plan for tonight. But right now I am just up and dressed. So yeah, that's my plan for today. I need to just catch up on things. I feel, like, I feel like I look like a completely different person with my hair like this. So we just got a supermarket delivery. So quick talk through of everything we got. We got some tomato masquerade pasta sauce, which is just amazing four tin tomatoes, some caster sugar, some barbecue sauce, some butter, double cream, big thing of cheese, salad brandy greaser, got loads of meat because we've like completely run out of like all meat in the freezer so two packs of sausages, some salmon, some minced meat, some chicken breast, some pork minced meat and some pork chops, blue roll and kitchen roll, frozen sweet corn, some dark brown soft sugar, some eggs, and then the best breakfast ever, Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Clusters. So, time to put this away. Why are our eggs a really weird colour? So I cleaned my brushes and if you haven't cleaned your brushes, this is your message to clean yours. I mean, look at them. There is something about having an entire batch of clean makeup brushes that just, it warms the cockles of my heart, or whatever that expression is. I've just been working. It's been the most horrendous day of weather today in the UK. It just rained for like the whole day straight. How you all doing? How's life treating you? 
how do I do this? Can I? Hmm. Right, I'm gonna work out how to do this and then I'm gonna speak to you in a moment. All updated, everything's good. Um, so I've just had the nommiest dinner. I feel like all I do is talk about food, but realistically that is what dominates my entire personality. So <laughs> I've just started watching um, Ready to Mingle on ITV, which is the weirdest like idea for a show I think that I've ever seen, but it is um, basically there's one girl and then 12 boys, half of which are in relationships and half of which are single and they've got to try and date her and she's got to try and pick which one she wants to date and then at the end if they're single they split the 50k prize value between them and then if they're taken the boy takes that money and like he can you know it's good fun and i'm enjoying watching it oh wow i look rough well i've just finished work do you like my little space buns so we just went to Common Gun for drinks and a little bit of food and now I'm home. I've done a bit more work and now it's time to take off my makeup. Although, I mean, let's face it, I look really, really rough. So this is a really quick rundown of my skincare. So I'm using quite a lot of typology things, which I was gifted. So I start off with the Typology 7 Ingredients Cleansing Oil. Once I've used the Typology um, cleansing oil to actually get off my makeup, I then follow up with the Typology cleansing balm to do a secondary cleanse. Next up, I use the uh, Typology organic orange blossom hydrolate, which is basically a toner. So yeah, my skin is proper, proper breaking out at the moment. Um, I've recently come off the pill and not to have kids or anything, just come off the pill and my skin is not reacting well to the change of hormone pace. So yeah, I'm breaking out quite a lot at the moment, but um, I'm sure it will settle down eventually. So I've just used some of the Now Green Coffee Extract and Caffeine Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. And then I've got a trilogy of serums from Typology. So I've got the Targeted Blemishes Face Serum. I've then got the Redness and Blemishes Face Serum from Typology. I will kind of wonder if, like, so I was on the pill from the age of about 15 to the age of 25, and then I came off partly because I ran out of time to go to the doctors and partly just because I kind of feel like I kind of wanted to know who I was without being constantly on hormones all the time. So if you want my kind of experience on and off of it, let me know. I've had obviously nine years experience of being on the pill. The effects of coming off the pill I find really interesting, but let me now put me to talk you through it in any way. So I'm just using the Nutrition Face Serum, which is more for dry skin. And then I'm gonna use the LMS Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream, which has the nicest texture. And then on face oil, it's one of those things I kind of mix up every night and there's no real reason for it. But at the moment, obviously, like this breakup has kind of popped up in the last sort of 24, 48 hours. And so it really needs help going away. And so I'm gonna use the Monday's Child Skin Perfecting Oil. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so, so good at um, helping control breakouts and blemishes. So as my skin is in the worst state it's ever been, I'm gonna um, start integrating this back into my skincare routine. And then I'm just gonna finish off with the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. So yeah, I'm now gonna, oh, it's so soft. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Not enough closer, man. It's coming right at us. I've just edited the weekly vlog to date so far, and by God, do I like to talk. You don't realise how much talking I edit out of these vlogs. 
but I'm gonna keep this entry quite short and sweet. I've just packed my bags because it's my dad's birthday. So I'm gonna jump on a train, go home and celebrate with my dad and my family with a little family takeaway curry. We will shortly be arriving at Sandy. Hello, little one. So I've made it back to the sunny heights of Bedfordshire and I am here visiting my dad so i probably won't vlog that much while i'm here just because it's like proper family time and i'll talk to you guys in a moment i mean i completely forgot to end the vlog i basically had a really lovely weekend at home i vlogged a little bit of saturday so you'll see that in next week's vlog but it was just a lovely day to celebrate my dad's birthday and to like be home again because you know we've we've really lacked family time over the last 18 months so I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.